Well, good day, model railroaders. Now, for this video, I am going to show you guys how to consist trains. Now, I guess the first thing we need to know is what does consist actually mean? So, to find out the definition of that, well, I'm going to ask Siri. What is the definition of consist? As a verb, it means be composed or made up of. Do you want to hear the next one? Yes. This is an archaic term. As a verb, it means be consistent with. Do you want to hear the last one? Yes. As a noun, it means a set of railway vehicles forming a complete train. Well, I think that's the one we're looking for right there. Consisting a set of railway vehicles to perform or to make a complete train. So it's putting two, three, four locomotives together to all act as one. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually do that with NCE and with the Digitrax system. But we got a special guest for the Digitrax, so keep watching. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so to start this video off the easiest way I can possibly think of, consisting two locomotives. When you get them right out of the box, they're programmed to locomotive number three. So you program, put them on your track, hit no loco number three, go forward, And backwards. Now the thing with this is, you hit the horn, they both horn, and the bell, same thing. Now, the downside of consisting with just using number three is all your locomotives have to be facing the same direction. So when you hit reverse or forward, they're both going to do the same thing. So right now I'm in reverse. So they go away from each other. I put in forward like you want all your trains to go in one direction. But now in forward, well, that wouldn't be bad, but wouldn't be good. Okay, so you found two locomotives that you want to run together, but you want to run them one going forward and one going backwards. Well, using just the consists of the number three loco, this isn't gonna work, like I said, unless that's what you want, is your two locomotives to crash into each other. So with these two locomotives, Canada Pacific and the EMD-90, we're gonna show you how to consist them with the NCE system. One's gonna run frontwards, one's gonna run backwards, but they're both gonna be controlled under the same controller. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so consisting with the NCE system, pretty simple stuff. So right now we have locomotive 9090 programmed in. As we can see, it's gonna go backwards. So if we switch over to locomotive 9303, it's gonna sing to us. We're gonna go forward with that one. So as you guys can see, they're both working independently. So on the NCE system, you come down here to consist. Set up, hit enter for advanced. It's gonna give you a number, 127 is to start. Hit enter, the lead locomotive we're gonna use for 90, 90. Enter, this direction of this locomotive is forward. Yes it is, rear locomotive. 9303. Enter. Direction of this locomotive. Hit direction. Changes it to reverse. Hit enter. Now we're good to go. Okay, so now with the NCE system, I've got select locomotive. 127. Enter. Forward. Reverse. Now if I want to clear this, I hit clear. Consist number 127. Enter. That's now gone. 127. Select locomotive. 127. 
no control. If I go to select locomotive 90, 90. That one's got its own control. Select locomotive 9303, enter. And that one's under its own control now too. So very easy. All set up down here in the consist area. Consist, hit setup. Select the number, your locomotives for lead and rear. Plus you can add three, four, five locomotives if you want. And let's just get these guys to quiet down a little bit, shall we? Okay guys, so with the NCE system, kind of gave you a, a little bit of a demonstration, but like I said, everything is down here at the bottom. It says consist, you just hit set up, follow the direction on the screen. When you're all said and done, hit that as a local number, off you go. Your trains are running perfectly, frontwards, backwards, but the same direction as you want them to go, as your lead locomotive. To kill it or to get rid of that consist, you just hit clear, which is right beside setup. Remember your consist number of 127, delete it, and now your locomotives are back to running under their own numbers. So that's how easy it is with the NCE system, guys. But let's head over to RWC Toyman's channel. He runs with Digitrax. So let's check out how you do a consist or MU in the case of Digitrax on their system. Hold on, let's go. What's going on everybody? We got Sparky over here. Uh, he wants me to show you how to uh, MU some locomotives using the MU feature on the Digitrack system. So that's like consisting, right? It was like consisting, yeah. It was a little different. Uh, you can do your advanced consist, uh, which is EV19, and it's only a two digit address. But we, we don't want to do that because once you put them in, you don't have to take them back out again. We're MUing basically, you set your two locos on your two different throttles. Uh, the right throttle is your lead locomotive, the left throttle will be your trailing locomotive, and you just got to make sure that they're both going in the right direction. So, all right, so we have loco 7600 on the right the throttle. And then 7615 is on the left throttle. So we're going to fire these up. And we're going to check to make sure they're traveling in the same direction. So they're both traveling in the same direction. So we're going to go ahead and connect 7600 to 7615. And now I'm just going to tug on 7615. Okay, we're hooked. Now there's an MU key on your throttle right here. So you push that and you'll see where it says add, remove, add, remove. It flashes back and forth. So what you do is hit add. Now they're both going to be MU'd so when you switch directions they're both going to switch directions at the same time. Even when you got the headlights on, the headlights will, will flip back and forth as well.
And to remove them, it's the same process as before. If you hit the MU key, then you hit the minus key where it says remove. Remove, and they're, and they're back out of their uh, MU uh, setup. So now you can control the locals independently now, again. So remember, your right throttle is always going to be your lead locomotive. Your left throttle will be the trailer. Now the Digitrack system. Okay everybody, so you can see how easy it is with the NCE system. Hit the consist button, make your consist, play with your trains. When you're done with it, just unconsist them. Or with the Digitrack system. And you do the same thing. Just hit the MU key. Oh, you add or remove, and away you go. So, pretty so. simple to do it. Biggest thing, I guess, is speed matching, but that's a different video, huh? Oh, yeah, it's a big different video on speed matching. Don't have time? Nope, don't All have right. time. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk to you guys later on. Thanks for watching. Don't yeah. forget, watch this guy's channel. Yeah, don't forget to check out RWC Toy Man. And uh, just as a reminder, unsubscribe from that 2448 Toy Man's channel. Remember, that's a hack channel, my old channel, so unsubscribe from that, please. He's always got to get something in about that. All yeah. right, Pops, love you. <laughs> All right, later, buddy.